Assalamualaikum children, how are you doing? Hmm? Today I have got something which is going to make your mouth water. It's called a fine dessert and I'm sure all of you, uh, like I do, um, love to have desserts, sweets after dinner, right? Something sweet. So this is called a fine dessert and it is a story which spans, um, uh, you know, a few hundred years. So. Uh, listen to it carefully it's thought-provoking um, you can later on discuss with your adults the issues uh, that are in the book which you will uh, I'm, I'm sure if you hear it uh, and watch it uh, carefully uh, you will be able to identify and then have a discussion on those okay because it is about the changing times and you will see how a bit more than 300 years ago in an English town called Lyme, a girl and her mother picked wild blackberries. The hands turned purple with the juice, the thorns of the berry um, bushes, you know, they pricked the fabric of their long skirts. Let me show you this picture here. The mother with the baby at her back and the little girl, her daughter, uh, picking wild blackberries. When they got home, the woman skimmed the cream off the evening's milk. She added it to the cream from the morning milk and began to beat it all with a bundle of clean, soft twigs like that. See that? Okay. Beat, beat, beat. Here. Beat, beat, beat until her arms started to ache beat beat 15 minutes later she stopped whipped cream yes the girl drew water from the well she put the berries in a piece of muslin you know um, uh, the, the very thin uh, cotton uh, fabric and rinsed them then she squashed and strained them through the muslin getting rid of the seeds together she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream you may lick the spoon love said the woman so the girl did mm. they carried the mixture to an ice pit in the hillside it chilled near sheets of winter ice packed with reeds and straw like that see there was no um, other way of chilling it and uh, they wanted to have it very very cold and chilled after the family supper cold chicken mushroom ketchup and meat pie they spooned the blackberry fool into blue dishes now this was called a fool the word comes from some french word so this is not that silly fool kind of a word okay um, and served it to father and the older brothers even the baby had some. Later in the kitchen, the girl licked the bowl clean. What a fine dessert. But the mother is serving and the girl is eating it, licking the, the uh, rest of it from the bowl in the kitchen. A bit more than 200 years ago, outside a city in South Carolina, a girl and a mother pick blackberries from the plantation garden hmm? and you can guess that these are the uh, you know black slaves that America used to have a horse-drawn wagon delivered cream from a nearby dairy the girl beat the cream with a metal whisk made by the local blacksmith and I have a similar metal whisk right here so beat 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 until the girl's hand also started you know the arm started to ache 10 minutes later whipped cream the girl washed the berries in water from the well then she smashed them through a tin sieve with the back of a spoon getting rid of the seeds Together, she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. You may lick the spoon, child, the woman said, so the girl did. 
Now, they carried this mixture to a wooden box in the basement. It was stacked with blocks of ice lined with lead and insulated um, uh, cork. You know, they put it in a bowl and they placed it in this wooden box that you see um, in the basement because the basement is cooler. After waiting at the table at supper where the master and his family ate turtle soup, roast turkey, corn cakes and sweet potatoes, they spooned the blackberry fool into yellow dishes and served it. Later, the girl and her mother hid in the closet and licked the bowl clean. Hmm, what a fine dessert, they said. But here they are, hidden in the closet because they could not be found out having it. A bit more than 100 years ago in a city called Boston, Massachusetts, a girl and her mother bought two wooden boxes of blackberries at an open air market, probably a farmer's market like that. Okay. All right. So are you noticing all the changes? When they got home, their morning's delivery of pasteurized cream was waiting at the door in pretty glass bottles. The woman looked at a recipe book. She beat the cream with cast iron rotary beaters. This was the cast iron rotary beater. I'm sure you have it in your homes even now and uh, so she uh, you know went whir, 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 and five minutes later there was whipped cream the girl drew water from the new faucet in the kitchen she washed the berries and smashed them through a sieve with her fingers her hands turned purple with the juice together she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream do you want the spatula, my pet? said the woman. Yes, please, said the girl and licked it clean. They carried the blackberry fool to a wooden ice box stocked with blocks of ice they had delivered each day. You know, each day, day they got the, uh, the blocks for this wooden box. Um, so this was, of course, before the time of the electric fridge. Yes. What next? After Sunday dinner, potato soup, roast chicken and canned asparagus on toast, they spooned the fool into green dishes and ate it together with father and the younger brothers. Even the baby had some. Back in the kitchen, the girl ran her tongue along the inside of the bowl. What a fine dessert. There they are all sitting down to have this very fine dessert. Yum! And now, just a couple of years ago, in a city called San Diego, California, a boy and his dad bought two cardboard boxes of blackberries and a carton of pasteurized organic cream at the supermarket. Let me show you this picture here. Hmm? Yes, you guessed it right. They are going to prepare... Yes, so when they got home, the man printed out a recipe from the internet. The, the boy beat the cream with an electric mixer, right, like that. And two minutes later, what was there? Whipped cream. And the boy was reminded of, uh, you know, his father's shaving foam. The man ran water in the sink and washed the berries in a colander. He crushed them in a food processor, then pushed them through a sieve with a plastic spe uh, spatula. Together, they poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. Can I lick the spatula? asked the boy. Of course you can, buddy, said the man. So the boy did. They put this mixture in the refrigerator. The doorbell rang and friend, friends surged in, bringing cartons of lemonade, grilled vegetables, enchiladas and toma uh, tomato salad. And here you can see they are having company, they are having friends over 
and now the last picture of all of them having a great time eating you know after uh, after the meal they are served what yes blackberry fool into white dishes uh, so everyone gobbled it up and after they left the boy stood in the messy kitchen licking the inside of the bowl well there was hardly any left you know so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you are going to discuss everything that you noticed in this book through the story through the um, illustrations uh, you know the period of a few hundred years 300 400 years all right khuda hafiz